During the closing days of the war, our pilots over Germany were surprised by an occasional, extremely fast rocket fighter. After the Nazis threw in the towel, the Allies captured several of these rocket-driven planes intact and identified them as of the ME-163 series. These German films of their performance tests were found, leaving little doubt in the minds of our aeronautical engineers and designers just how far in advance the Germans were of our own research and development on this particular type of aircraft. German data on performance of this first rocket fighter ever to be used in combat proved the feasibility of using rocket propulsion in airplanes. The speed and rate of climb with which a rocket-driven interceptor can meet an enemy squadron is illustrated by this German graph. Built principally of wood and duraluminum, the plane was designed for high-velocity performance. To eliminate possibilities of flutter, the elevators were mounted on the trailing edge of the wing, leaving only the rudder in the tail section. Power is provided by a Walter rocket engine. Weighing only 387 pounds, this unit has a maximum thrust power on the ground of approximately 3,300 pounds. Of simple design and with very few moving parts, it has been determined that this engine is easy to manufacture and needs comparatively little maintenance. An invaluable feature of jet and rocket engines that makes them ideal for interceptors is their ability to develop full power immediately after starting. The ME-163 rocket engine obtains power from the burning action that occurs when a fuel is brought into contact with an oxidizer. The fuel in this instance is a mixture composed principally of methyl alcohol and hydrazine hydrate, and the oxidizer is hydrogen peroxide. Both of these liquids are volatile, and it is their highly combustible nature that makes operation of the ME-163 dangerous. Wheels are attached to the plane for takeoff purposes only. After the plane gets into the air, the wheels are dropped. For landing, a retractable skid is extended from the bottom of the fuselage by pressure from a tank of compressed oxygen. Piloting is done from a conventional type cockpit. Oddly enough, this German test pilot is now cooperating with research engineers in the engineering laboratories at Wright Field. Although flight in the ME-163 was admittedly dangerous, no special provisions were made for pilot ejection in this series. The rocket unit contains a single-stage turbine that is run by steam, which is generated by passing the alcohol-fuel mixture over crystals of potassium or sodium manganate. The turbine, in turn, runs two pumps that deliver the liquids to the combustion chamber, and the aircraft is immediately ready for takeoff. A speed of approximately 200 miles per hour is necessary for the plane to get off the ground due to the small wing area. After the wheels are released, a speed of 430 miles per hour is maintained for the best climbing performance. With that speed, the plane climbs to an altitude of about 22,000 feet in about two and one half minutes. And to reach 40,000 feet takes only a total of three and one half minutes. In these German tests, Maximum speed for the ME-163 at 26,000 feet was about 560 miles an hour and a little over 600 miles at 40,000 feet. Operating at full throttle, the plane is capable of flying for six to nine minutes, but it can stay aloft for over 25 minutes by using a combination of power flying and gliding. 
Landing speed for this airplane is approximately 180 miles per hour, and an oleo strut mounted on the skid helps to absorb the impact of landing. Influenced by the design and performance of this aircraft, research and development on similar types of interceptors are now being conducted at our Muroc test base in California.